The components required for this experiment are node MC board and node MC breakout board or you can use a breadboard, soil moisture sensor, relay, battery and a water pump. Now log in to the Blink.Cloud website. Then go to Developer Zone. Here click on New Template. Here give the template name. Smart Agriculture System. And select the hardware as ESP8266 and connection type as Wi-Fi. Then click on the Done button. Now go to Data Streams and click on New Data Stream. And select the Virtual Pin. Here first create the variable as soil moisture and select the pin as V5 and select the data type as double and give the maximum value as 500. Now click on the create button. Now create another variable which is for the pump. Again select the virtual pin and here give the name as pump and see here select the pin number as V6 and data type as integer and if you want we can change the color now again click on the create button now go to web dashboard here drag one gauge widget which is for soil moisture and then one switch widget for the pump now go to the settings of the gauge and here select the data stream as soil moisture now click on the save button now go to the switch widget and here select the data stream as pump. Again click on the save button. Now go to events and notifications and here click on create event. So here we need to enter the event name. So in the program we gave the event name as moisture underscore alert. So we need to give the same event name here. Then in the description we can give the same description what we mentioned in the code. You can also give any other description. Now here we need to select one second and here we need to enable this show event in notifications section and also enable this send event to timeline so that you can also get the alert in the timeline. Now go to notifications tab and here enable notification and select the email to option as device owner and also push notifications to device owner and here deliver push notifications as alerts so you will get the alert message and then enable the notifications management. Now click on the create button. Now you can save the template. 
now go to devices and here click on new device and then select from template here we can see the template which we created smart agriculture system so select the template and click on the create button now copy this template id template name and authentication token and paste in our program and then enter the wi-fi username and wi-fi password and upload the program to the node mcu board for that go to tools and select the board as esp8266 node mcu 1.0 and then select the port now click this arrow button and upload the program to the node mcu board now the program is successfully uploaded to the node mcu board now we can set up the blink mobile dashboard for that download the blink iot application from the play store once you open the application you can see the template which we created in the blink web dashboard now click on the template now go to settings and click the plus button and here we need to do the same which we did in the blink web dashboard first add a gauge widget and also add a switch widget now click on the gauge and here select the data stream as soil moisture if you want to add the title go to design and enter the title now go back now click on the button widget so here select the data stream as pump and go to and select the button mode as switch and go to design and here enter the title now go back and again click the back button now the setup is completed and now we can check the output we can also check the moisture level alert in the email if you place the soil sensor in the dry area of the soil the pump will start automatically and if you place in the wet area the pump will stop automatically We can also turn on and off the pump manually irrespective of the soil moisture level.